Hello, hello. Welcome back to some commentary. I've not done this in ages. We have a fantastic match ahead of us. Tommy versus Kyle on Arrowwalk. The old Arrowwalk, if you've been playing recently. The one that I know. The one that everyone loves. Although it's pretty much the same in every game that you're going to play it in. Going to be watching Tommy here. Thank you very much for the t demo, Tommy. I know I asked you about this over a year ago, but finally getting around to it. Oh, playing quite aggressive there, using a rocket launcher to do some uh, movement off that wall. Oh, and Tommy takes a hit from himself. But he's going to get out of it. Kyle is going to get the first frag and another frag. Ah, commentating a demo. I've only just realised commentating a POV demo again. Rather than... Uh, server side or spectator demo yeah I've got to remember how uh, this game works a little bit better these demos are hard to cast I've, I've never really talked about it before you have to know the game and well enough to know what the other player is going to be doing to be able to talk about what they're doing without being able to see through walls so Tommy on a negative one score but he's playing it very conservatively. You can see Kyle. Every time we see Kyle, he's moving fast. Look, he's moving around. He's going to come over the top there. And... Yeah, he's just moving around. Tommy. Ooh, nice mutual frag. Kyle uh, going down there. Manages to keep it. Scoreline's the same. But Tommy's out of the zero. So he'll probably be very happy about that. But yeah, Kyle moving really quickly. Tommy... Is a little bit more stationary in the way that he plays. This map's strange. You'd think with the way that basically everybody plays it, that playing fast would be the best way to play it. But it definitely can benefit from you being slow and toppy. Oh, that was so close. Having machine gun fire raining down, you know, 10 damage bullets and you've only got 10 health left. It's a pucker moment for sure. But... Nice shot there from Kyle, predicting Tommy and just shooting straight up, getting a nice bit of floor damage. Always good to get, and Tommy misses the rocket across to the teleporter, and he's going to go down. Three to nothing, the current scoreline. It's not undoable, and especially on a map like this, like the way Tommy is playing, he's playing it slowly. It's meaning that he's not giving away too many frags in between uh, yeah I think Kyle the way he's playing looks like he wants to rack up some frags so that he's got a buffer just in case well you know while he's got the current lead he wants to rack them up but Tommy's not letting him completely take all of the items do we have item taking yeah so most of the most of the mega armors have gone to Tommy at this point with four out of the six that have come up and I'd expect one of those went to time so you know probably five that have come up Kyle will now have another one though but what Kyle has been picking up every time I've seen is the 50 armor down by the mega so although he hasn't got the mega every time he's got that 50 armor consistently which is really good it gives you a good buffer it's a good amount of armor to have um, and it's certainly better than what Tommy's ending up going into fights with. You know, Kyle's picking these fights. Tommy's just having to let them come to him. Cheers, Wolfie. Thank you very much for the demos. I might get round to them within the next decade. <laughs> we'll see. It's an unfortunate frag there. Tommy... He He's getting caught in this back room quite a lot there, actually. Um, so it goes in there for safety for 25 armor. Get out of the line of fire. But then Kyle's just coming around. And simply just waiting for Tommy to leave. Because it's such a difficult place to get out of. It's one of the worst spawns to get. Um, it's possible to spawn camp it. But also, even if you're not going to be spawn camped, where you come out is very visible everywhere so there's a good chance you get hit a very nice shot there from Tommy he's 
managing to place some nice, decently nice predictions. But his predictions of when he's going to bump into Kyle are just not quite holding himself together. Halfway through the match now, though, as I always say, you can bring it back halfway through the match. If they did it to you, you can do it to them. It tends to get a little bit faster paced. The ability to get frags is a little bit faster paced in the second half up to a minute and a half to a minute to go when you're at that point that's when you're going to see the score on the scoreboard you can delay respawns stuff like that again Carl managing to get the frag onto Tommy Tommy dodging the spawn frag very nicely done beautiful next from Tommy beautiful next he gets two in a row fantastically massive next that Tommy has This is the one. Doesn't quite capitalise. You see, every time Tommy has got stuck in that back room, he's gone down. Kyle managing to get a lot of damage off there as Tommy comes through and he manages to go down. Beautiful shot there from Tommy. Bit of an overplay from Kyle, I think. But watch it. High likelihood. To, oh, he managed to get away with it. He's managed to buck the trend. I think Tommy's moved off to somewhere else because it did look like Kyle... Uh, sorry, Carl's moved off to somewhere else. Cause it did look like Tommy was going to go down there the same way he's gone down with all the others. And beautiful frag in there from Tommy. He could bring this one back. He's got the position to do so. Tommy's going to uh, Carl's going to miss the item, but Tommy's not going to be able to pick it up. Now that 50 is going to come up, Tommy. Hopefully you've got... Yeah, there we go. Gets a little bit of damage on himself. He's going to push for the fight because he's got to. He understands where he is now. He understands he's got the lead. He's got both the items. Tommy's played a really good game right now. At this point when Kyle was playing, something I noticed, and I remember from when I was last watching Kyle, um, which was around this time, because he did send me a few demos. Uh, something Kyle didn't have at the time, I think he has got a lot better at, is the item control. Very fast, very loose, played the positional control, but definitely didn't have the timing on the items. Whereas Tommy plays the timing on the items really, really well. He's going to know when those items are timed, even if he's losing them. Even if he's turning up to the fight and not winning the fight, he's going to get the items. But if you look at his positional play, he's moving downwards, he's going to the low ground He's coming out of corners. He's not checking every place that a player could be. Uh, especially after respawns. We've seen him get caught out a few times because of a respawn position. And then he goes into these sort of hidey holes that are quite easy to trap if Kyle sees him go into them. But Kyle's positional play in this has been very very good beautiful shooting from Tommy he's got the timing on Kyle right now with that like always turning up on time and he should be able to convert this one into a frag if he can spot where Kyle's gonna go Kyle's still waiting around whoa, whoa, whoa. oh in counter strike they'd call it trigger discipline but here we call it hold on where the fuck's he come from mutual frag goes up on the board And I think Kyle is going to get taken down here. But he's on the back foot, uh, is Tommy. He's still got to make up a fair bit of points. Baiting out the sound. There's Kyle looking up, looking to where Tommy could have been. A lot of damage, but, you know, high risk uh, Tommy's got to play right now. Trying to get Kyle down with a minute to go. Three frags, definitely doable. But again, this is the sort of position where... You know, you can't uh, you can't rely on it happening. Because even if you've got the shots like that... Oh, Tommy looks warmed up now. He looks in control. He's got all the items. And Kyle knows it. Like, if you look what Kyle's doing right now... Kyle is purposefully trying to avoid uh, the items. He's not pushing in. Before, he would have tried to punish that. But for 30 seconds, there's only two frags remaining... Can Kyle manage to just simply outrun Tommy? Knocking down some damage. He doesn't mind what weapons he gets. I've even seen players in this position that Kyle's in right now. I have honestly seen players go for um, 
just using the blaster and Kyle stealth suicides he gets taken down Tommy's tied it up with 10 seconds remaining is he going to get the spawn frag he doesn't get the spawn frag there's five seconds left if Kyle gets taken down Tommy is almost guaranteed to win this and that incredible incredible end right there it looked done when Tommy was down by seven or eight frags I think at one point somehow he managed to bring it back what an absolutely phenomenal comeback from Tommy. You could see there, to go into more of the analysis part, because I was doing a hell of a lot of shoutcasting in that one, but you could see Tommy always playing for that control, always playing for the items, trying to know when the items were. He sometimes was losing him uh, fights because he was going to them when he shouldn't have been. But that's really it is really difficult to know the timings of the items and not take the fights, even on such a small map like that fantastic play there from Tommy and really well played from Carl. I mean, all of everything that he was trying to do towards the end in the second half, once Tommy regained control, it could have gone either way on any single one of those fights. I mean, look, two seconds before the end, the final frag came out. Any one of those fights gone a little bit differently. It would have swung the whole control of everything. Yeah, a fantastic game. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next demo.